Hey guys, I just want to do a quick review on the GRDE 10,000 milliamp hour um, battery pack. Now, uh, battery packs are all over the place. There's, you know, you can buy them pretty cheap nowadays. Uh, so that's not something hard to come by. Um, what makes these different is that they have a uh, solar panel built onto them so that in case of an emergency you're stranded somewhere you're hiking you know mountain climbing whatever there's a panel built onto it that can charge the pack uh, let me just point out it'll slowly charge it but it will charge the pack uh, we will go over exactly how slowly uh, it charges or how quickly it charges uh, so this is the box that it comes in as you can see it says GRD on the top I bought this off of Amazon it was about $18 um, and on the back you can see a few different things it has the battery type um, the capacity solar power uh, input output product size product weight and a bunch of uh, instructions that are very poorly written so you can tell uh, that it's most likely a product that's made in China but it is still a battery pack and it packs 10,000 milliamp hour um, of uh, capacity which is not bad at all okay now opening up the uh, box what we have on the inside is we have the battery pack itself so just so you can take a look at that that's the battery pack uh, this isn't rubber, by the way. This is all just plastic. So it looks like it's rubberized, it's rugged, but uh, it's really just plastic that's made to kind of look like rubber. Um, so you have the solar panel on top. You have your capacity lights that show you how much charge uh, this battery pack has. So if one is on, it's 25%, uh, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Um, and on the same side, you also have your USB ports. So you have a 2 amp port and also a 1 amp port. So this is your 2 amp on this side. That's your 1 amp and they're labeled. You can see that. And in the middle, you have your port to charge the battery pack with. So you don't have to solely use the panel, uh, which nobody would because it would take too long. Uh, you would use the supplied cable that comes with it so it's a small cable it's you know, I'd say at most one one foot long uh, that plugs into USB and you can charge it that way okay so put this aside uh, it also has a little lanyard in case you want to have it around your wrist or on your backpack or something uh, now taking the plastic uh, cradle out uh, with the Amazon buy the seller actually includes uh, two of these USB lights, which are very bright, actually. Um, so that's kind of cool. For 18 bucks, you also get these two lights. And then you have the instruction manual inside. Again, there's really not much to it, and I'll go over that uh, just to kind of show you. So let's put that aside, put the lanyard aside, and the charging cable, and the box aside. All right, so we have the two lights that come with it. So, um, we already pointed out the USB ports. On this side, you can see there's a button. Once you press that, it tells you how much charge you have left. So I'll press it. As you can see, I have 50% charge left on my battery pack. And if you do a uh, double click, it turns on the LED light on the side. So you can use that as a flashlight if you need. Uh, it's really not that bright, but you have that option there as well. So double clicking it turns it off, double clicking it turns it on, okay? Um, also, these are self-detecting USB ports, so once you plug something in, they turn on the pack itself, uh, but you know, it, it doesn't need to have the button pressed for it to turn on. So once you plug in something, it starts powering it. Once you unplug that device, uh, this pack turns off. So that's a cool feature to save on battery power. Uh, so you're not, you know, you don't leave this uh, running uh, overnight or something and it completely drains the battery pack out. Now let me just show you how uh, bright these uh, lights are. Let me just turn that off. And I will plug these lights in. 
Okay, so uh, not sure if you can see it on the camera, but these are pretty bright lights. I'll turn off this light here. So you can see, uh, yeah, these are very bright. So let me just show you, that's the light coming off of these lights. I'll disconnect them. Okay, so that was all the light coming out of these two uh, included uh, USB lights. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, fully charged, this does power your iPhone, your Android, your iPads, you know, 10,000 milliamp goes a long way. Um, so, you know, you can do the math on your own on how long or how many times you're going to charge your device, depending on what type of battery your, your uh, device has. Uh, so that's, that's something that this pack is good at. It's good at charging. Uh, as long as you're not solely relying on the solar panel to do the charging of the pack for you. Uh, reason being is this panel itself, uh, it's at most, uh, with the open circuit, it's probably giving off 150 milliamp, uh, of current, uh, and the pack itself is 10,000 milliamp. So... Open current is it's giving a 150. Uh, so with this your charge circuit in place, you're most likely seeing around 100 milliamps of uh, current actually making it to the pack. Now on top of that, what's another kind of a negative of this is both when you're charging it from USB and also solar, what happens is that these lights they kind of blink back and forth. So what I'll do is I'll I'll connect this and you'll s I'll connect it to uh, uh, another battery pack just to show you what it looks like when it's charging. Okay, so now I have it connected. So pretend like it's connected to a wall and it's charging right now. So you can see that that light is going back and forth uh, showing you that it's charging. Now it does the same exact thing when it's solar charging. Now, the reason that that's bad is that each one of these SMDs or LEDs, uh, it takes around 10 milliamps of power. So every time you see this, you know, cycling up and down, you're wasting about 40 milliamps right there. So at that point, your battery pack itself is only getting uh, close to 60 milliamps of power from the solar panels itself. So taking that into account, that would take approximately 166 hours for your pack to fully charge up. Or in other words, it'll take 20 days of eight hours a day of sunlight for it to charge up. Um, for me, I never leave anything as is if I see some type of a flaw. So what I did was I opened it up, I disconnected the panel from the charge circuit, uh, put in my own uh, lithium uh, polymer module for charging, and you can see that there is, um, I, I drilled a hole in the shell, and there is a little red light that comes on whenever uh, sunlight is present or light. So this light is taking 10 milliamps by itself when it's on. So it's nothing close to the 40 milliamps that's being wasted away the way you get it from the factory. So this is something I did. Um, I'll put up some pictures to show you exactly what was done and you know how I did it. Uh, so that's something I did, and with that modification, uh, I'm s probably getting it to charge fully in 13 days of 8 hours a day of sunlight, which is still very long. So this is why I'm saying that you cannot use this as your sole means of charging the pack. The solar panel, it's really, uh, I hate to kind of say it, it's almost gimmicky, but it does work if you have the time. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Now the way the inside of the pack is set up, it's uh, the uh, sandwich type uh, lithium batteries. So it's, it's something like this, but a lot bigger. So there's two of these types inside this. Each of them is 4,000 milliamps. So they're sandwiched together and they're connected uh, in parallel. So it's giving off approximately, I'd say somewhere between, uh, let's see, seven, seven to eight volts. Uh, and that's being set down obviously to power the USBs. So I'll put a picture up of that as well So I mean overall it's a good battery pack and for $18 along with these two uh, Lights, it's really not a bad deal, but do not use 
the solar panel as your only means of charging because if that's what you're thinking this is going to be for uh, you're going to be really mistaken you need a battery pack that has a lot bigger of a solar panel to actually charge the battery pack in uh, you know in a reasonable reasonable amount of time without you know making you waste 13 days of just you know trying to sit out there and have this fully charge up that's not going to happen um so yeah overall it serves its purpose um you can put it out in the sun it will charge up very very slowly uh, i've had it out in the sun for i'd say about uh, six seven days and it's gotten up to 50 percent just to kind of show you how long it takes so it's cool but not what you would expect again go with something that has a lot larger solar panel but for 18 dollars and for this much capacity you really can't go wrong here you can see the battery pack that i mentioned earlier written on it is 4000 milliamps and there are two of them sandwiched together next is the charging board with the two usb uh, ports and the voltage output of the solar panel 